Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. LSU ready to kick it away to get things started. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense takes the field. And as this star running back comes onto the field, everybody in the stadium knows he's going to get it. The defense knows it. Doing something about it is quite a different thing. Yeah, it's hard to stop him. He's hard to handle because he can do it in so many ways. He can run by you. He can run through you. He really has the whole package, and that's why he's a superstar, and that's why they'll feed him early and often. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Stands in and takes the hit. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. Really good toughness by the QB to hang in there, take a big shot, but I will not give him credit for throwing in the double coverage. So, nice job hanging in there, being tough. Make a better decision. Do not throw in the double coverage. He got lucky that was an interception. They'll try to run for it. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. They'll put the tight end in motion. Right back to the well. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Give to the running back. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Now they'll run the draw. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They've got him looking run, but they're going to throw it. Got it in stride inside the 20. Touchdown, Colorado! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
and he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So an 82-yard drive there, and they finish the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 51 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So LSU's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. When you have a weapon like this on the outside and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. It's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. Are you willing to do that, or are you going to try to live on the perimeter? This offensive matchup will be great. Yeah, normally you'd say receiver versus safety, the receiver's going to win. This safety, though, has got the speed to run with this guy, and he's going to make it interesting back there. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Wants to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. That's a really nice job holding that pass in. And you think LSU has just been such a breeding ground in recent years for receivers. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, OBJ, Jarvis Landry. They all have the ability to make a play anywhere on the field. And that's what this guy can do. You can line him up anywhere. He can run routes at all three levels of the secondary. The defense has to know where he is lined up every single play. The option look. Now the toss. <laughs> Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that run. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The play-action fake. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed over the middle. It's Thomas. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Tigers moving quickly to the line. He'll keep it himself. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Fires and picked off. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the tailback. They'll stop him at the 22 after a five-yard pickup. Don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. On first down from their own 22. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. 
you know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for room. It's Hayden. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry-up. Now the play fake. Going for the big play. Snags it down the right side. He's off to the races. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Bucks. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. that start this dude is in fuego over 100 yards receiving already you could tell there's a matchup they like and they're going to exploit it continuing to feature this wide receiver who's just chewing up yards and the extra point pushes the lead to 14 a very efficient five play scoring drive and they find Pater from way out, covering 69 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Daniels. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. LSU will bring the punt team on the field, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block. It's Horn. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. He'll do it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior.
Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Shotgun snap on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll give it on the counter. Got the first down and more. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. LSU doing what it always does when they're really good, moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, trying to find that physicality. They get so many great players across the country. LSU has the pick of people in Louisiana. Everybody wants to come there, and you can tell they always find great talent, and they're always able to run the football. Quick release by the QB. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. Sweet feet on the move. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender? being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Trying to pick it up on the ground. The Buffaloes will move the sticks with the first down. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. And the Buffaloes are on the move. Give to the back. 
And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Out of the gun, the inside give. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter. David, I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. they got to establish something. And you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. The run from the shotgun. A confident, tough, efficient run. Gets it up to the 44. That didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole play looks short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds a man on the right. Makes a stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. He's got his man. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell, he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden, he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, create enough separation to create a positive game. Fires to the middle. He's open on the right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. LSU looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. They keep attacking through the air. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Going with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor using a timeout here. Thinks the call is going to end up going his way. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. 
And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Scanning the field is Sanders. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Now it's second and ten from the 15. He's looking to throw. He makes the grab. Makes the grab, and he's dragged down. Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. You've got a third and manageable back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Got his man to the left. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Touchdown, Buffalo. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it in with a huge play, an 80-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Quickly complete. And he's ruled down right there, but he'll have plenty to move the sticks. There's got to be a sense of urgency for this offense right now. They're trailing. They're going to be kicking off to open the second half. So they need points. They need to go tempo. Maybe that last first down gets them a little bit of confidence. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's looking to throw it. With the catch, it's Daniels. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Now on second and short after the first down completion. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. You can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Wants to throw on first down. 
pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. LSU getting set on first and 10. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. They'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and 10 from the 31. On the move, it's Nussmeyer. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it on the move. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. He'll set up to throw. Going for six. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Because down here, he does a lot of blocking, and you play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fella. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, but he lost him, Reese. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. And they're going to play it safe. Conservative approach here, but they'll take the knee and head to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder. And welcome in to the halftime update. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. The Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field, trying to set the tone on the ground in the third. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. He's going up top. Makes a catch at the 20. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Tigers. 
Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, th th that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field, and my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And they did make the extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the third. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Hand off from the shotgun. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Swings it out to his running back. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Offense in the hurry up. They'll go to the air on third and short. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll try to really get into this one. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Out of the gun, the give to the back. And the Tigers will keep this drive going. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Offense gets set for second down. The give is to Williams. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Offense trying to go with some misdirection in the run game to the boundary, but the defense was there. They are able to corral the back behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. A third and long coming up here. 
They'll run play action. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. After giving up that big shot defensively, how confident are you calling that coverage again? You're now on your own end of the field, and now your backs are against the wall. The Tigers want to move quickly. Going up top on first down. Pulls it in. It's Lacey. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Looking at a second and short now. Off play action. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end. Throws a strike. Gets the first down. They're in the red zone, and they'll pat. He'll take a shot. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. This has been a tight one. Third quarter all tied up. It's now second and ten. The give is to Williams. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. Sometimes as an offense, you like running plays, and you like running it right into the teeth of the blitz. That's what happened right there. Everybody up front got a hat on a hat, and they were able to crease that defense. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they've taken the lead. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I think a lot of quarterbacks like those defenses that will be passive and let you let it slowly develop. Nah, this defense, you could tell, they were aggressive and attacking, and it really paid off. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. To the air, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, 
Who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmys and the Joes. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Firing to the right, complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So he was forced to just take what the defense gave him, and they were able to stop him short of the first down. And when you're a defense, and you get third and long, and you know exactly where those sticks are, you set your feet at them, they throw it underneath, I go rally, make the tackle. Perfect third down and long execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical in this drive. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver. It might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Give to the single back. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. LSU quick to the line. Leaves it with the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Catch in the middle. It's Lacey. Makes a catch and knock down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Yeah, and I just need a crease. I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is, and he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. LSU with the first and ten here.
from the red zone looking for a receiver. The offense coughs it up, and they were on the move. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Got his man in the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Quickly to the tight end. That's a 20. He's got space. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And after that completion, it's decision time now for the head coach. Do you kick a field goal, add to your lead, and make it more difficult on the opposing offense? Or do you trust your quarterback to make one more big completion here and ice the game? And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. It's still a three-point game after the miss. and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. Hands it off. On the move at the 30. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed it. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, they want to come out and try to get the run game established, but up front defensively, they made a play. They gave up nothing on that one. Got to find some breathing room if you're going to establish yourself on the ground, and there wasn't any that time. Yeah, Reese, I wonder now if this offense is maybe going to try to get to the perimeter of the field and see if they can use their speed to hurt this defense. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. Got him downfield. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Off the play fake on first down. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Colorado! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. 
Lynn, how about this quarterback right away seeing, I got to get rid of the football. There's a lot of guys near the line of scrimmage. He spits it out, and I let my receiver do the rest. Let my playmaker make me look really good, really nice pitch and catch. And guess what? You got the lead now in the fourth quarter. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He smashes his way through again. And that's the end of the line for the return man, but still business to attend to. A penalty marker is down. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Zings it complete to the right. Crosses the 30, he's got away. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And now he's in the 400 club, 4-0-0. That's a pretty good day at the office. When you're putting up over 400 yards, this defense hadn't had a lot of answers. LSU right back to the line. The pull and throw off the RPO. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. Yeah, and Palmer, I don't know what his grade's going to be, but hitting over 400 yards on the day, I, I think coaches are going to be pretty impressed with the day this young man had. No doubt. I think for defensive coordinators moving forward now, you're going to be charged with having to find answers to try to slow this guy down. Today, we've seen this defense try blitzing, zone coverage, man coverage. They've mixed up personnel. None of it has worked. This guy has carved them apart. Looking to go up top on first down. Just missed on the connection. Incomplete. This really has been a master class by the quarterback with decision-making, right? We've already seen him throw multiple touchdown passes in the game. He's understood when to take his shots and when to throw it away when things aren't there, like on that last play. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. The aerial assault continues. This time, he's got it. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. And that last completion left them short of the sticks. It's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. Down four late. They have to convert on fourth down to keep hope alive. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Finds a tight end. Defense comes up with a really big stop there. That's nice. They don't give up the first down, so the clock keeps working. But they're on their own end of the field. They know this offense is going to start taking shots into the end zone. They better have some guys ready on the back end, ready to swat some balls away and make some plays. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. 
He's looking to throw. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, LSU! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tired. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. He makes the connection. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it's caught inside the 30. He'll work his way down to the 28. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. A little less room to work with now as the ball's at the 28 and it's third and long. Looking for a gap, it's Hayden. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. And with five seconds left, this one to send us to overtime. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And in the waning seconds of the game, they tie it up. What a kick for that young man right there. And you just see the way it energized and galvanized his entire sideline. They've tied it up late. This thing's going to OT, and they look like they are ready to rock. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18.
All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. First play of the first possession of OT. They'll start this drive with a pass. If he houses this, it's ball game. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? Blast is way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. going to have to throw for it. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. So here comes the field goal team and they'll kick for the win. Timeout called by the defense as they want to make sure they avoid any hint of a mental lapse here in overtime. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It's good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. 